Hello guys, welcome in this tutorial, I will show you how to make opening doors like that. Well, you can't really open them now, but if you take this cube, put it in front of this scanner, throw it away then, you can now push it and open it however you want. Or you can see that it's coming back, so let's take it. Let's push it again. Go, go, my dear. And go inside. Okay. If you wanna learn how to make this, keep watching. This time around I actually don't have any fancy assets, but you can put uh, there whatever assets you want. I will use just basic cubes. So I'm here in content and in basic VR template. So let's create new blueprint. Blueprint will be class and class actor. Let's call it door. Open it. File and add component. We will need some meshes. So let's use cube. If uh, you are using your own mesh, you, can, you will probably want to add a static mesh. So let's scale it down a little bit. So it actually looks like a door. That's about it. That's how I think normal door look like. <laughs> okay, and let's put it right in the game. So we have we can have a correct size. I have it locked, so it may be a little bit harder to scale. So make sure that you unlock it. Okay, that sounds about right. Maybe a little bit wider. Yep, that could work. Okay, great. Compile it and duplicate it. Just Control C, Control V will do. Compile it and let's change this one to something else. For example, cube chamber, just so it looks a little bit different, and put it on this side. So we have some representation of the thing that the doors will be rotate around. Okay, and put it here. Okay, that looks good enough to me. Basically, that's how we make a door. <laughs> okay, now let's take it seriously and rename this because it will make it a little bit easier for us. Let's call this one axis and this one just door. Okay, compile it. And now the interesting part, we need to add physical constraint. Physical, I'm probably saying it wrong. Physics constraint, I would believe it's pronounced. Put it into default scene root. And now we need to change a few things. So component name one, let's set it to our axis. Okay. And component number two will be door. And you can see that it already changed it and sort of outlined it for us. Which is, which is just what we need. There, uh, there you have a linear limits, which means how much you will be able physically to move it on a movement axis, which is this, which are these one. But that's not what we are going to do. Uh, that's why it is all set to disable and locked. That means disable means locked basically. Okay, and we are going to work with angular limits. You can see on swing 1, swing 2 and twist motion. And it's set to 3, which is not what we want. So we will set it to locked, at least these two, swing 2 and swing 1. And we will set swing 1 motion to limit it, because we don't want those doors to go 360, no scope, you know how it works. <laughs> and right now it's set on to 45 uh, degrees, which is something we will change later, but right now let's just test it to see how it works. And that's about everything for now, I believe. Okay, compile it. And one more thing we need to set up. Okay, because this will work with uh, physics. We need to set up our door to physics enabled right here. Simulate physics. Okay, enable it, compile, close it, and let's test it out. Okay, now I can see it in the game. It's a little bit bigger, but it's probably just because I'm sitting. So now I need to open those doors. Uh, so... If I put my hand on it, I already hear, uh, I don't hear it, I but I can feel that my control is vibrating, which means that I can interact with it. So I will press the grip button and push. And you can see that these doors wonderfully open, but problem is that they are rotating along axis that I definitely don't want, which is as I expected, of course. I'm just showing it to you so you understand and know. So to fix it, let's open our door blueprint and you, co you could have seen that it was rotating along axis, uh, this which is somewhere here. So for that, we can take our physical constraint and move it here. This will basically act as our origin, uh, the point from which it will be rotate. 
uh, basically pivot point if you are familiar with 3D modeling. So let's put it here, compile. And we wanted to change this uh, angle. Which, let's put it to 90 degrees. Swing one, climb it. And soon after we will also edit this stiffness part. Let's test it out if it works. Okay. Again, let's push it and you can see that it is rotating just where I need it, which means around this axis. And if I go there, okay, let's rotate it because I'm not going to do it here and push it from this side. It works quite well. The truth is that this is really not a perfect way how to make a door in uh, VR games, but this is honestly the only one that I have been able to come up with, so hopefully it will be useful at, uh, for you at least at this way. The main problem is that you can really only push it forward, which means you can only open it like this, you can't really open it to yourself, which you usually do in real life sometimes. But it's at least something, so hopefully it helps you in some way. But we can still adjust it and make it a little bit more better. So let's go to edit door. And as I said, we will look into this uh, doo -doo -doo, stiffness that basically sets uh, how much it will come back after you open it. Right now, it, it almost doesn't come back. So I will set it to 1000. And if I just gently push it towards, it will come uh, It will after a while come right here back. But that's something you can test for yourself. So to make it this tutorial a little bit more useful for you, I will also uh, set up here a system which you need to put some object in front of, like a camera or something, and then it will open the door. So let's uh, quickly set it up. Let's go to door. I have it as door two for some reason. And let's add here another mesh. Oh, we can, we can do sphere, you know what? Let's just do sphere. I don't know why, but we can do sphere. Close it, and again, let's look at how it looks like here. Okay, move it a little bit, and let's okay a little bit lower, because I I'm not gonna stand up only to test it, and we will add here also a light. So add component light, point light, and scale it down. So attention radius set to like eight is fine, I suppose and put it in front of it. And let's make it not so intensive. Some Captain Marvel style. Okay, and from start, let's set it to red. Okay, compile. And one more thing, let's add here collision. If you put it under that point light, it will scale itself just as you need. Now click on that collision and go to on component begin overlap and cast to BP pickup cube, which are these little cubes which you can see here. Wonderful. So that means after our, our component will see and will overlap with this cube, what it will do is to first of all change color. You can also play sound and stuff like that, but it's up to you. So we will set light color and let's set it to green. Because we are traditionalists and green means go, red means don't go. Except if you are driving, it's right the opposite. Okay, compile. And also we need to set up it so you can't really open these doors before that. And for that we will simply disable physics. Simple as that. Go to And then go to event graph, take our door and from here let's Oh, set simulate physics. Okay, now connect it and I have noticed that I haven't set it up for some reason. Oh, here is the problem. I haven't set up this value. Okay, so now it will switch to green and let's make sure that you simulate it to true because right now it's too false, but uh, after I will overlap this cube, which means let's say card or something like that with uh, this box or this uh, weird thing which scanner I have just put there, then it will be enabled again. So let's test it out. Okay, so if I go there, you can see it's red. I can't do anything. If I go here, I also can't do anything, can't push it or whatever. I can maybe look there. I can teleport there, okay. Make sure that you don't make here any space, otherwise your players will be able to teleport there. <laughs> okay, but after I will take this cube and put it right in front of it. You can see it change to green, you can throw it. Now if I just gently push it from probably everywhere, 
anywhere, which means, okay, not from here. Let's just gently push it and you can go. Now you can see that it's coming back. If I teleport away, it will just go like that. You can push from any direction, but you can't really take it to yourself. So now I'm in, I can take my sword. If you don't have sword, don't worry, I have made tutorial for that. You have link in the description. <laughs> Button with opening doors like this, also link in the description. And you can cut, cut stuff and stuff. Okay, tutorial is over, you can go home and play whatever you want. Anyway, this is everything, I hope that you learned something. If you wanna learn any of these other mechanics, you can do, as I said, it's on my channel and a link in the description. And I'm also working on a sci-fi game that has nothing to do with Star Wars, except that it's a light sword. Make sure to remember it's light sword, not lightsaber. You know, greedy mouse. Anyway, that's about it, so fancy.